excuse this gun in ages. Excuse the state of the boot. It's a mess, we've been really busy lately. We're two painters down, and this, usually, this shop usually has four, so it's just two of us in here. And uh, the detailer only rocked up today, and it's Thursday, so he's had the first three days off. So yeah, we've been flat out, no time to clean up. But yeah, I, I don't know, not, not much of an exciting video, it's just a standard solid true cage, ref lock white, standoff VOC top coat is the product I'm using. But I haven't used my FLG5 or SDK to build this SDK, otherwise known as for color or clear or anything other than primer for ages. Like, I stopped using it because when I moved to Thailand I sold some of my guns that I didn't think I would need and um, yeah, just sort of moved on and recently I did the primer gun review and I decided to get myself a 1.4mm so I'm running 1.4 on it at the moment and uh, yeah, get it, get it in the booth again why not? It's a gun that I used to rave about I originally bought one on eBay Australia. This one I got from the usual suspect, Spray Gun Direct. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm, I'm excited to use it again, so I thought I'd make a quick video of it and see how it holds up to today's standards. I used to run mine at really low pressures from memory because I think part of that was like the boost that I was in, it just had poor airflow, so I found the lower pressure worked better. So I've got it set on full fan. I think the first thing I did notice is that some seem to have quite as big of a fan as some of the other guns I use off late. But yeah, for the price, you can't beat it. They're just um, really reliable, well-built gun. I'll give that a minute or two to flash off. It didn't feel like I used a great deal of paint, so I'll just run that at, Yeah, we got that on full fluid. Not the most massive fan on the market. If you got yourself an FLG5 or an SGK, let us know in the comments, let us know what you think of it, if you bought one on my recommendation. Okay, just need to give that a minute, not really much flash off time at all. I might even use this for clear on my next job. Why not? Um, when I had my own shop, I was using this for direct loss and face coats and all that stuff. That's, good. That's got a really nice tight finish. Nothing wrong with that at all. It just feels like it's very efficient, like I don't see a great deal of overspray. I've, I've been using the um, the NSI Water Supernova Lotus Edition lately and that thing's just excused through the paint. But this thing just seems to lay a nice amount of paint down, the right amount where you want it. Not too much, not too little. You can't complain with that. And I mixed up a little bit too much, probably 100 mils too much. That's good, I love that gun. And there's very minimal overspray there. 
Yeah, I'm totally wrapped with that, and I'm just surprised at how efficient this bloody thing is. For a gun that's around the $200 mark, it, it sprays like a $500 gun, really. Yeah, loves it. All right, gunners, I'll see you in the next one. Have a look at that little beauty, mate. FLG fired. What a little beast. Have a look at the job once more. You can't, they, you can't really fault the finish of that. You don't need 500, you don't need $1,000 spray guns to get nice finishes. And there's proof.